Welcome to Level Review, where we critique levels from classic Nintendo games. In this video, we'll continue looking at an absolute certified classic that is Banjo-Kazooie. So here's the thing, contrary to popular belief, Banjo-Kazooie actually has two horror-themed levels. One goes for shock horror and gore, and is honestly so disturbing it could only be compared to something like Human Centipede or the Saw franchise. The other could best be compared to a Disney Channel original Halloween special. It's not going to scare you, but it's wholesome as hell and will get you in the Halloween spirit. The level of course I'm referring to is Mad Monster Mansion, or as I like to call it, mmm. Mad Monster Mansion is a weird one for me. It's a really good level, but for some reason, it never really stuck out to me among the other levels in the franchise. Maybe it's because the spooky monster theme is so overdone in games, or maybe it's because I'm a basic bitch. Oh. I'm not sure. But one thing I can be sure about is that Monster Mansion is a good fucking level, no matter what all those mumble mountain lovers say. The level itself is structured like a typical mansion estate. There's of course the mansion itself, which makes up a decent chunk of the level, but there's also a number of smaller buildings on the estate ground that fill in the rest of the level. Let's quickly go through them all so you can get a good feeling of what this spectacular level is all about. Let's check out the shed first, mainly because it pisses me off the most. So when you first enter the shed, it seems really cool. It's bright, colorful. There's a ghost roaming around, but then you realize something that chills you to your very core. It's just another fucking spelling mini game. As if one wasn't enough, and at least in Treasure Trove Cove, the game gives you the spelling. Like what 10 year old knows how to spell Kazooie? Like where were the spelling mini games in Mario 64? I could fucking spell Mario. The shed is really the only part of the level I actively dislike. Everything else is great, so let's get into some good shit. And the haunted church, let me tell you, is some good shit. Before you enter the church, you can scale this bad boy and find a jiggy sitting on top. This may be a simple jiggy, but there is something just so satisfying about climbing up a big, thick, hard tower. <laughs> No, but seriously, I do love climbing tall shit in video games. So, once you enter the church, it gets even better. As you enter, you're surrounded by giant church pews. Which, can I just say something real quick? It's fucking weird. Because I was under the impression this level was just an ordinary, run-of-the-mill haunted mansion. But apparently fucking giants lived here. I don't know if I missed something in the Banjo-Kazooie manga, where they explain this little lore tidbit, but it just seems so weird. Even though it made zero sense, I'm glad they went this route. Because it's just fun exploring a giant house, how do you shrunk the kid style. And if they didn't, they couldn't have done this sweet ass part with the ghost hand. Mechanically, this jiggy is nothing special. All you're doing is following this hand and hitting the corresponding keys. But it's all about the contents, baby. The fact you're on a giant organ and playing it with a giant ghost hand just makes this jiggy what it is. My favorite part is when you complete this challenge, and then you have to scale the giant organ pipes to get your prize. Mmm, that's some good shit. So, the last major building in the level is the mansion. And you know what? The mansion is pretty damn awesome. There are a number of different rooms that make up the mansion, such as the dining room, cellar, bedroom, and the attic. Now, on their own, these rooms aren't anything special. They usually consist of a small square room with one or two collectibles in them. But what is special about these rooms is the way the game makes you feel like you're uncovering a secret every time you find one. You see, like your friendly neighborhood crack house, this shit is boarded up tight. When you first approach the house, there doesn't seem a way to actually enter it. That is, until you start busting shit up and making your own entrances. Need to get to the attic? Bust in the window. Wanna get in the cellar? Bust open that cellar door. Desperate housewife who hates her husband and kids, bust open this wine barrel and drown away your sorrows. This may seem like a small detail, but it makes the mansion just so much more fun to explore. Honestly though, this scene persists throughout the entire level, not just the mansion. You bust in the bedroom, you bust in the dining room, you even bust in front of a church. Aww. 
Rare may have gone a little overboard with all the busting in this level, but honestly, I'm all for it. Because... Busting makes me feel good. Okay, we saved the best for last. We know you've all been waiting for it. Begging for it. So, here it is. The Pumpkin Transformation. Now, I've been on record saying how much I hate transformations that have no useful abilities. But this little pumpkin boy here is the exception. You see, even though he has no abilities to speak of, he can do what small boys do best. Fit in small spaces. And these small spaces are fucking awesome. There's a well, a drain pipe, and you can even get flushed out a toilet. And the best part about getting flushed out this nasty old toilet is after you return, Grunty hits you with this line. A line that can only be described as sexually suggestive. That's what she said! <laughs> the pumpkin transformation makes this level feel even more dense than it already felt. Add on top of that, all the different buildings in the level that can be broken into, and you have a level that's teeming with secrets, and feels like at any point you'll find one around the next corner. And I think that feeling is essential when making a fun level to explore. A good level creates situations that pique your interest. Situations that make you ask questions. Questions like, what happens if I ground pound the cellar door? Or stand on this toilet? Mad Monster Mansion makes you ask these questions and almost answers them in a fun and exciting way. It's a good level and a joy to explore, even if it does have a fucking spelling in the game. I'm gonna be hitting Mad Monster Mansion with a B. Oh.